gang, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and welcome back to another edition of Two of Angling. And back by popular demand, we have another round of hater comments that I'm gonna share with you guys today. I, I try to do this about once every three months to sort of like to keep you guys updated on some of the subscribers out there. And uh, there's some, some dudes way out in left field and I sort of like to bring it to everybody's attention occasionally. So I've put together a list of nine or 10 of them here, which is just a small sampling, I can assure you of some of the ones I get and I share that with you guys. Real quick, I wanna remind you guys a couple of different things. Uh, please tune in later today. I'm putting together my next hour long seminar. We did one earlier in the year. It went over really good, everybody liked it. I'm putting together one on jerkbait fishing. Basically, you know, specifically more geared, geared for like wintertime jerkbait fishing. This is gonna be an hour long seminar. It takes a while to upload it, so it'll be sometime this afternoon, this evening before it gets up. It's gonna be full of juice, guys. 50 years of juice uh, jerk pit experience. So uh, I invite you guys to check that out. And also please uh, hit that view products tab at the start of the video. That'd be much appreciated if you check some of those products out. That's a really good way to support the channel. Okay guys, I'm gonna go through the list here. <laughs> it's hard to read through some of these. I got a bunch of them from last week. You guys know I did the video on it. You know, I zeroed the second day at Truman Lake at the Toyota series. Um, and I was real up front. I went through my whole day and she told everybody how it did. I had a field day from the haters. They just loved it that I zeroed out there. So we're gonna share some of those along with some other ones. Okay, the first five was in reference to getting, when I didn't catch one at Truman the second day of the tournament. Uh, just read a few of them here. Randy, you suck. You can't catch fish anymore because you're stupid. Second one, Randy, do yourself a favor and quit. You've lost your talent completely. Three, Randy's old and washed up and Truman, Truman Lake proves it. Four, my two-year-old son can beat Randy. Or my two-year-old son can beat you. Number five, no pro ever zeros. Hang it up, Grandpa. And then just says <laughs> a few additional ones here. Uh, it's like... You don't, Randy, you don't use live scope because you're too stupid to figure out how to operate it. Randy, you and the NASA scientists are ignorant because you and the NASA scientists are ignorant for believing in climate change. And he misspells ignorant. He puts two R's in ignorant. Tell him I'm ignorant for that. Um, and number eight, um, you telling me that bone colored uh, topwaters don't work. I'm subscribing. I can't deal with your stupidity anymore. So that's just a, that's a quick nine of them that we get over here, guys. And, um, you know, the, the whole thing about this is like, uh, you know, 98% of the comments I get from everybody are supportive and positive and that type of stuff. And that's just part of social media. You're going to get negative com comments. I know that. But one of the things I've found out about bass fishing is there's a lot of armchair anglers out there that love to, <laughs> to sit back or get on their keyboard and you know basically go after anybody that has some type of an opinion one of the things about bass fishing i think that raises some um emotion from a lot of the sensitive types out there is that bass fishing is not an absolute it's a very abstract sport so i'll give you guys an example like of the the bone colored top water video i did this morning i was talking about how the bone color was going downhill and of course I get a ton of comments, people saying that's ridiculous, that's stupid, because they didn't watch the video, they commented on the title. And my point of that video was that bone colored topwaters still catch fish, but they become situ situational and they aren't as productive as they were five years ago. That's just the reality of the situation. But in social media and videos, a lot of, pe a lot of people don't have the capacity or don't have the ability to focus on the message. They attack the messenger for some reason. I'm not really sure. That's probably the way they were brought up or whatever. I'm not sure what the deal is on that. But anyway, guys, I welcome comments out there. Um, one of the things about comments, I it doesn't make any difference to me if you agree with me or don't agree with me. My ego is not fragile in that terms. But the thing about it is, if, is, is not just on my channel, but on any channel out there, if you're going to if you're going to debate something or you're going to criticize something, focus on the top, focus on the message. Don't attack the messenger for that because that dumbs down the conversation and that takes away, you know, the whole, the whole necessity of a respectful, critical debate. 
So for example, somebody on the spook, they can say, instead of saying, Randy, you're stupid, I'm unsubscribing because you said that, they can say something like, well, Randy, it's been my experience that I still catch a lot of fish on a bone colored spook and it's very productive for me and give me the reasons why. So, um, because nobody has all the answers and, you know, nobody has all the answers in bass fishing. And as far as zeroing, um, I can assure you guys, if you bass fish long enough and if you turn up the fish, you will zero. I don't know anybody that has never done that before. Anybody multiple times in tournaments. So it does happen. And, uh, I'm glad I could give uh, some guys, uh, you know, a, a chance to goof a little bit there because they seem to really enjoy it. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated you guys watching the videos. And please tune in to that hour-long jerkbait seminar this afternoon. We'll talk to you guys later.